Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's me, James Rule XRP. Subscribe to me on Twitter at Rule XRP. Check out what XRP Hodler did at Hodler underscore of underscore XRP on Twitter. He has transposed David Schwartz, who is Ripple CTO, his face onto Shakira, and it is funny as hell. You got You have to check him out, XRP Holder. Also, he did a, a Brad's really going to love this one. Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, he has done several, many, many, many on Brad Garlinghouse, and he has transposed Brad Garlinghouse's face on a ton of videos on his page. So check out XRP Holder. I've been laughing my ass off here for the last hour, and it is hilarious. All right. Coinpaprika.com, as you know, is my go-to for cryptocurrency updates and pricing. Check this out. The total coin market cap, or the total market cap for all cryptocurrencies, is up to $323 billion. It's almost $324, $324. This is incredible. It's just Monday. Yesterday was Sunday, and we saw an increase. Today is... It is blowing up. Let's look at the top 100. This is also Coin Paprika. I will leave links to the links to these pages in the description of this video. Bitcoin is at ten thousand eight hundred and forty-five dollars. It is up almost ten percent in twenty-four hours. Ethereum three hundred and twenty-three dollars and twenty-two cents, up four point five percent in a day. Tether is actually up. That is based on the U.S. dollar. Tether USDT is used on exchanges to purchase cryptocurrency and as well to save U.S. dollars on the exchanges as USD Tether. XRP is 22 and a half cents, up 4.5 percent, 24 hours. And I'm not going to go down the complete list here. These are some incredible numbers. And right now, if you're just now getting into the cryptocurrency space, get excited. Don't FOMO. Don't have the fear of missing out. And right off the bat, I am not a financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. I have been researching cryptos and investing in crypto for the past three years. And right now is the go time for cryptocurrency. Oops, sorry about that. The phone rang as soon as I said right now is a go time for crypto. But anyway, yeah, I'm really excited to be in this space and it's time to get excited. Let's take a look at an article today, Monday, July 27, 2020, written by Matt Hogan. He's a contributor to Forbes. This is at Forbes.com. I will leave a link in the description and I'm going to read through this because it talks about the OCC and how the notice on crypto is a really, really big deal. <clears throat> Last week, the Office of the Comptroller of the Currency, the OCC, a branch of the Treasury that supervises national banks and thrift institutions, issued a bold interpretive letter outlining how U.S. banks can interact with crypto assets going forward. The letter addressed to an unnamed bank is remarkable in its progressive embrace of the crypto industry, explicitly permitting banks to both custody crypto asset for customers and provide banking services for crypto-oriented businesses. The letter detailed, quoted, We conclude a national bank may provide cryptocurrency custody services on behalf of customers, including by holding the unique cryptographic keys associated with cryptocurrency. This letter also reaffirms the OCC's position that national banks may provide permissible banking services to any lawful business they choose, including cryptocurrency businesses, as long as they effectively manage the risk and comply with the app law. This is a big deal for three reasons. Number one, a regulatory stamp of approval, and that is what has been holding us back in the crypto space. Regulation is key, and if you look back on YouTube videos, whether it be me, Kevin Cage, Crypto Eddie, Digital Asset Investor, Mr. BXRP, we have all spoken about regulation in the cryptocurrency space all right let's continue 
It is hard to imagine a more positive and progressive letter being written by a major U.S. regulator. The OCC's letter showcased a deep understanding of the crypto market, including the intricities of crypto asset custody and the challenges that crypto companies have historically faced in obtaining, obtaining traditional banking services. Regulators rarely break new ground. They're more apt to follow the lead of others. By showcasing a pro-crypto stance and moving the industry one big step forward, the OCC has made it easier for other, more cautious regulators to follow suit. All right, reason number two. It will bring new investors into crypto. This is very exciting. If you are new to this space, get excited now. If you've been here for a couple years or a few years, get ready because this crypto market is going to blow up and there's nothing you can do about it. All right, this will allow traditional banks to enter the crypto custody market, which will make crypto custody more widely available, more trusted, and lower cost, in turn bringing a new wave of investors into the space. One note Notable development over the past few years has been the amazing traction that popular finance apps like Square's Cash App have had from retail investors looking for an easy way to purchase Bitcoin. Cash App saw $306 million in Bitcoin sales in the past quarter alone, making it one of the large individual sources of net inflows into the space. This new regulatory clarity from the OCC should allow large numbers of national banks to build cash app style own ramps for their customers to easily access crypto. Beyond increasing the number of competitors in the crypto custody market, this news also creates a second regulatory structure for crypto custodians. To date, crypto custodians have mostly been structured as trust companies, but now they'll be able to be structured as banks. Polysign, polysign. As crypto expert Caitlin Long highlighted, crypto custodians with a bank charter could enjoy advantages such as direct connection to the US dollar payment system, stricter regulatory oversight, and stronger capitalization requirements. None of this will happen overnight, of course. Cryptocurrency custody is a highly technical business with a steep learning curve, and we expect banks to move cautiously into this space, partner with experts, or acquire crypto-native custodians. But it will happen, and that, will, and that process begins now. Reason number three, it will allow big banks to service crypto companies, reducing fraud. Bear with me. <clears throat> Although not the main theme of the letter, one notable fact is that it explicitly clarifies that national banks can provide traditional banking services to cryptocurrency businesses. This sounds like a minor development, but it is not. Crypto-focused companies have traditionally had a very difficult time procuring traditional banking services. For years, niche supplier Silvergate Bank was effectively the only bank providing service to the crypto industry, and it was very selective in its clientele. The only large bank to provide banking services to cryptocurrency exchanges was JP Morgan, which began offering services to just two crypto firms, Coinbase and Gemini Trust, and just a few months ago at that. The banking challenge has, signific challenge has significantly slowed the growth of the industry. More importantly, it has forced some crypto-focused firms to turn to unregulated and sometimes shady offshore payment processors to handle cash management needs. The issues surrounding the under-collateralization of the stablecoin Tether, USDT for instance, began largely because the issuing company cannot secure a traditional banking relationship. By normalizing crypto banking, this letter will foster a new level of maturity for the fast-growing industry building up around the crypto asset space, reducing risk, speed growth, and pushing the industry forward. Conclusion the crypto industry continues to mature rapidly. 
This letter from the OCC is the latest milestone in regulatory clarity and approval, and we will feel the tailwind from its positive impact for months and years to come. And this was written by Matt Hogan. Incredible. It is an incredible the thought of where we are going, where we are invested in, where we are going to be in cryptocurrency and the use cases and the banks and everyone in the world is going to be using cryptocurrency. This will be a cashless society. I'm extremely excited to be a part of this community. And as I see new followers and new subscribers on a daily basis, this community is starting to blow up. I'm in the XRP community. I am in the cryptocurrency community. XRP is my number one investment in cryptocurrency. And don't take my word for it. Please do your own research. I will say do your own research in every video I create. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Get excited. Be safe wherever you are in the world. And we will talk to you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye.